And on that note, guys, hello and welcome to another video. I am your host, Captain Awesomeness. And uh, yeah, that's kind of a cheesy, cheesy reaction to a great video, a great remix uh, of both Phil Collins and Michael Jackson's legendary songs. Um, and uh, I did that because I actually wanted to kind of go over a couple things with you all. Uh, that the love that I have for racing comes from the fact that there's this passion. And uh, this passion is rooted from long ago when I was a young man, a young child, really. And uh, I don't remember all of the details, but I do remember that it was in the uh, early to mid 1980s. Uh, my uh, family, we all used to live in the United Arab Emirates in the city of Abu Dhabi. And back then in the 80s, most of that city was uh, relatively primitive in comparison to what it is now. So um, anyway, with that in mind, my dad, I remember him taking me to some kind of place. It was, it was a dusty track, if you want to call it that, and there were these cars, and kids were in these cars, and I remember uh, just being in that car and wanting to drive it, but it was a stick. I mean, it was like a dinky car, like one of those uh, kids uh, things that you see rolling around, the battery-powered ones, only this one was gas. And uh, all I remember is I didn't know anything for anything when it came to driving it. But that one day, and I must have been, what, three or four years old? And since then, I kind of got hooked. Uh, and I guess what I'm trying to say is that th that hooked feeling was the fact that I really loved being in something where I could mechanically engage it to drive it. See, uh, up to that point, of course, I'd only seen my dad driving a car and I loved how he would row through the gears. He had like a old school Datsun 280L that was a white colored two door, like a coupe basically. And uh, I, I just uh, always had this attraction for cars ever since that one day. So with that in mind, I gotta tell you, you know, over the years as I grew up, uh, I continued to have a passion for driving cars. I mean, it was just literally just a passion for driving cars. But I didn't get to actually enjoy it until my teens where I um, uh, did a couple of sessions of go-karting and, and, and really got hooked. But then ultimately, all of that had to come to a stop because I had moved to the United States in 1999. Uh, I went to college and after that I went to the army. But in all of that time, I still remember having that passion for racing. And in that time between moving to the US and joining the army and even post army, I continue to have a passion. I had a bunch of fast cars. I went to a bunch of different uh, tracks and I enjoyed them. But what, with all of that fun, I can tell you, it, it still didn't give me the bite, the desire, the animalistic want to just devour the track like I did when I got back on a go-kart in March 2021 in Pakistan. And since then, I've been hooked to the point where I think that it's almost become uh, an obsession, but there's no way for me to stop it. I don't know how else to explain it. So I'm doing this explanation here for you all because there were a bunch of questions that came up, like why are you so involved in this? And uh, there's a plethora of reasons, but the number one reason is the fact that, you know, I had this passion as a young, young kid who didn't know anything about anything. You know, these are the pre-internet days, the rotary phone days. And, uh, and it's, it's funny to me that that still continues on. As a matter of fact, my own parents tell me a lot about how, you know, when I still was a very young kid, I wanted people's car keys. And I wanted to sit in the driver's seat and I wanted to hold the steering wheel. So that tells me that I had a connection uh, to this man-made thing. Uh, and to this day, it continues. You know, uh, beyond go-karts, I still have a fast car. Actually, I have a couple of fast cars. Uh, I own a 2008 uh, Subaru WRX STI, and then I have a 1994 Nissan 240SX convertible with an SR20 swap, which right now is at my mechanic shop getting worked on. So, uh, you know, the takeaway from all of this for you all is that if you have a passion for something and you've been looking uh, to try to find a way to materialize it for yourself, don't give up. 
and that's what happened with me. I always had uh, go-karting in the back of my mind for the longest time, but just never was able to find that thing in me to, to say, you know what, Harris, just jump the gun and do it. And it just took for me uh, uh, to have a trip, to, an unplanned trip, no less, uh, to Pakistan uh, early in 2020 uh, or 2021 to really uh, find that passion back and, and really be good at it or, all right, somewhat mediocre at it, all right? I don't want to kind of... Uh, put myself out there as some kind of expert because that's not the case. I, I really want to make sure that you guys understand I'm not making myself out to be some kind of great uh, uh, athlete. Uh, so the thing with that uh, in the end is that this is why even though I am in a place where at a time of the year of course where uh, go-kart racing on the outdoor tracks is not possible I'm looking for a way to continue on with that passion which is why I did this uh, thing of you know buying myself a steering wheel setup getting on steam and buying uh, the uh, car craft game uh, just to be able to still keep somewhat uh, relatively competent understanding of what it takes to navigate around uh, a track so uh, am I ever gonna actually go down Atlanta Motor Speedway and get on a cart a K100 series cart and actually do this you never know you know as crazy as I am about a lot of things I gotta tell you that you know go-karting is definitely a passion that I, I just don't find myself giving up on so for as long as I have you know both my arms both my legs and have the ability to move I find myself being behind the wheel of a go-kart and it doesn't matter if it's rental or otherwise so with that in mind guys uh, today I am going to try to uh, get back into uh, Atlanta Motor Speedway I'm going to try my hardest to fix uh, whatever is causing for me to be relatively slow compared to all my fast lap times and uh, and do what I can you know and if I don't again continue to learn lessons as I told you guys yesterday uh, consistency also comes from learning a lot from your own mistakes and always finding a way to do something different than what you want otherwise you're just you know wasting your time uh, and uh, really before I continue guys uh, it is the 24th of December so it is Christmas Eve I do not know if I'll have the time to actually uh, come up on Christmas Day to do a video. Then again, you know, our family, we do not celebrate Christmas, but something else always comes up. So with that in mind, I definitely want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas for the ones who actually celebrate Christmas. And um, for those who don't, hey, you know what? Just enjoy your day, be with your family, uh, be happy, and uh, try to have a positive outlook on life no matter what kind of wrenches life throws at you. Okay, so just so everybody understands, it's going to take me a couple laps of warm-up. Uh, so if I make mistakes, that's just because, you know, no matter how many times you go at any place, as you saw right now, um, it takes a while to just get used to it. So I don't know how many laps it's going to take, but of course, uh, I love the power of editing. So if it goes beyond uh, a certain amount, I will just share what I think uh, is essential. So either way... It is what it is when it comes to uh, trying to find the right place to engage myself into this track. So, um, and just like the last video, if you see a cat walking around, right now I see Morris hanging out to my left, uh, and Morris is my orange tabby. Uh, just, uh, I guess, say, oh, <laughs> say hello to him. But uh, yeah, we're going to work on trying to hit uh, the same kind of lap time, 55.260 or beating my best lap time of 55.181. So, uh, yeah, it can get boring uh, after a while uh, when uh, you keep doing this over and over. And, uh, you know, you as viewers don't get to see an improvement, but I'm aiming to make that uh, happen to be a reality today. So let's see what we can do, guys. getting the hang of it to the point where we can beat our best lap time.
1.976, so we are a contender. Come on, 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 let's do it, let's do it. Four, fifty, oh, fifty-two, eight. <laughs> so, um, I, I mean, the reason why I just slowed down there, man, is the same thing. I knew I was on a good run, but... I'm gonna pause here. So guys, that was a good run. Uh, I, I mean, I'm gonna keep going all night if I have to, but the thing is, it's not fair to anybody. I mean, I, I've already been at it for I don't even know how long. Uh, but again, uh, I guess more of the same from yesterday. The only difference being is that I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about my passion. This is a rather long video in terms of, you know, how much time I took to actually do this. But um, uh, the, the, I did not want to take away from the main message, which was what was in the introduction of the video. So that's why uh, you only got to see like uh, three or four minutes of driving. Uh, and uh, I really didn't want to drive as much as I wanted to just show uh, a little bit of my uh, background to you all, like talk about where I come from uh, in terms of my uh, passion for racing. So with that in mind, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys can see him right there. Racing and the, and the thing that it's brought to me continues on. Like, you know, I sit here day in and day out trying to get this lap time, trying to chase it, but it's never, like, the, the, it hasn't uh, run in my head this, this thought that I need to give up. You know, kind of like the same thing I did over at uh, High Voltage and even at um, uh, Boss Pro Karting. Uh, I wanted to get consistently into the top 10. And then what happened was uh, the reason why I've actually stopped going there, I've mentioned this before, is the fact that it's electric carts and it doesn't feel as much, as much fun. It's not as thrilling. But what was thrilling was the fact that, you know, I had the top 10 at both places and I was consistent. Right now, as of today, I just checked over on Boss's website. I am the sixth fastest and I, I haven't really gone back there to try to improve my lap time. And that's why there are other people who are getting on top and I'm fine with that. Uh, it's just that you know uh, you do something like that but then uh, when you when you go there there's no big races that happen there so that's why I was like you know what I'm gonna just stop I'd rather do something else so um, there is another announcement that will be coming uh, right after this uh, video so in my next video but uh, yeah just wanted to talk to you guys real quick sorry about just the two minutes of driving and then uh, all of this talk uh, it's just that I really really thought along and hard about what do I want this video to be about today and uh, yeah, I just wanted it to be a blase one. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for listening. And I will see you guys at the next Apex. Bye-bye.